Hi, this is uh, Andre Fritz speaking and this is my first SketchUp tutorial. I make this video in addition to my movie clip How to Make a Robot and yeah, I called it SketchUp tutorial but it actually was no tutorial because I was just recording the screen and speeding it up a bit so a lot of guys asked me to explain a bit more so this is what I'm trying to do today. So I just have this free version of Google SketchUp with the basic tools that are really worth just playing around with it, trying it out. Um, so yeah, how to start? Let's start with the scroll wheel on your mouse. If you move the scroll wheel you can zoom in and out and if you push down the wheel you can just move it like this, you rotate and if you push down the wheel and you hold down the shift button you can just move. So this is really important. You can do this with buttons like this and that or that as well, but you are much faster when you just keep in mind that you just push down the mouse wheel and push down the wheel and shift or just scroll it. So this is like it's getting handy for you to move into this uh, 3D area without yeah losing time on clicking on buttons or something. So let's start. Um, I just make kind of a layer or something. So in Google SketchUp you you draw with the vectors so I made this with a basic tool for doing rectangles or something we have another tool for doing circles if we want to and we also have a tool to draw lines and we have a tool to draw curves so I explain how to draw lines you see when you move your mouse to the edges it kind of snaps on the middle point, on the corners, so this makes it really easy to draw and when you draw you click once and to define your starting point and you click another time to start your ending point and yeah I just move it around here but then you see how Google is helping me, how Google SketchUp is helping me to keep the lines, it's like showing me dotted lines when I'm on my right way and it's always it's always cool just uh, yeah, just try it. You will just recognize this is really easy to um, to draw like always from the perfect middle. Okay, this was for straight lines. If you want to do curves, it's like the same. You just click for the starting point, click for the ending point, and then you move the curve the way you like it. And if you click a third time, it's just fixed. As long as your dot on the mouse is blue you know that you're drawing on this layer if it's not you're anywhere you see so but that's what we don't want we want to draw on the layer so we make sure it's always blue and um, right now you see the line is quite strong and fat as soon as this is a cool working vector it's small so if you make any mistakes um, it will stay fat and it will not be small. One of the classic mistakes is like this. Um, SketchUp can't cross lines. It's like if I want to shape it from here to there, this is not possible. The way SketchUp understands it's from here to there and then from there to there. If I start like this, this line will stay fat because it's just not it's not working like this. So if I make it step by step it's thin like the other lines and I see okay this was correct I hope you got this so far so just um, make some changes to make it a bit closer look to the robot tutorial so you see what I'm doing this is the push pull tool where you can just activate one side and by moving it you can just define how deep or how wide or whatever you want it to be. So and now yeah let's make one of the of the robot parts for those of you who might want to try it. For example the body, the middle part of the body. I was just thinking how to have a cut through anybody <laughs> anybody this should be the shoulder 
this is the back here this is like where it could should end up with the butt or something like this and yeah I'm just closing it like this I get rid of the rest by using the rubber and here we go all I did was using the push pull tool and the scaling tool means I activate it I push the S button and then I scale it if I just move it like this you see it's not what I want if I hold down the control button it scales it to the middle so this was actually all I was doing with the robot the push pull tool and the scale tool and if I want to do it any more detailed or whatever or make some changes later I'm still allowed to drive on the uh, to draw on this and yeah just do my changes here so the last thing the last technical thing I actually did was making components to make sure I can mirror them and yeah to have it cool without drawing everything too often so if you click things twice it will activate everything that's connected to it if you click things three times it will connect everything that's on the whole object right mouse button make a component give it a name I just call it half body because that's what it is just a half of it and now I can explain the move tool the move tool is like the drawing tool but you move things means you click once to define where to start then you move it into the direction and you click this second time to stop it again and you move along the red line or the blue line or the green line so you have always you always know what you're doing when you when you use these lines connected to that cross here so if you move things you can activate the copy function that's like when you click string one times or control one times you have a little plus on your mouse I don't know if you can see it so when I have the plus and I move it I will make a copy then I mirror the object which was not working <laughs> like this and then I move it the last time yeah, to make sure it fits right now these objects are sticking into each other and yeah I can just use the move tool and move it from point to point so now I'm sure it perfectly fits and I can just go on drawing and shaping and the good thing is because I made a component out of this you will find it in your components here means you can drag and drop it from this kind of library um, as often as you want and the big advantage here for myself is if I make any changes on one side because I mirrored it and I have these changes on both sides that's what I wanted okay so this was actually the basic tools let me see if I forgot something nothing that you can't live without but yeah maybe I can explain this you have one tool to move the lines move the line and make a copy it's really cool because it's another way of doing this moving and shaping thing so all I did was I moved the line and when I now move this and hold down the alt button it's like two steps in one so he moved it and he scaled it so for those of you who are not that handy yet try this first version but yeah the dudes that think they can do it one more time I move the line make sure you don't get any mistakes like like this here this is not going to work it's not a clear vector so do like this and then activate it move it and hold down the alt button and you can see here it helps to be on the red line 
Okay. This was actually all I did. And I hope you enjoyed it. Um yeah. Just click and vote and comment and whatever. Ask questions if you want me to and if I see that this is working and as people are watching this, I might make another tutorial. Bye for now.